All right, hey everyone. So I'm going to be following this case like this because at this point we're all super invested and wondering what the F is actually going on. So the video you're about to see after this is actually the Orenthal's um, niece coming forward and basically accusing Isis of being a flat out liar. And I'm not believing her. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to believe, but, um, and I know ChatGPT is not perfect, but when I did look up on, I looked up the case files and there's really not much information available yet. So I guess we'll have to see. But um, I also know that not all case files are available to the public eye just because of the sensitivity of what's going on because the niece actually accused ISIS of being a child pedo as well in the video. And if we're going to give ISIS the benefit of the doubt, we have to also give this niece some level of the benefit of the doubt as well. And honestly, I, I just wish that they would have handled this a little bit differently, but like it's out and about now. So we're going to discuss it. And like I said, I'm going to be following it. So if that's not something you like, just leave now because it's not going to, I'm not going to stop covering it because we're all, I'm invested now. I want to know what happened because this is about children at the end of the day. So when I did look up the case files, I did see that there was multiple accusations of DV, especially available to the public. And there um, was a child abuse case that said complete. And apparently complete doesn't necessarily mean that it's finished and that there's nothing else happening. That just apparently, and don't quote me on this because I'm not a lawyer, but apparently has something to do with the case, like criminal proceedings are completed, but stuff could still happen after that. And like I said, not all case files are available to the public because in it, the niece accuses ISIS of being a pedo and she said that and she said in the video that it is available and there's proof but when i went on the internet and the same judicial system that i looked up this particular case i could not find anything like that on isis so or paloma i feel like i don't even know what to call her now because you know it's weird to call someone a nickname when it's something so serious as this you know so i'm, I'm just going to refer to her as like Isis because that's what she puts on social media but it does feel weird to me to call her Isis considering the gravity of the situation but anyway um so I was not able to find any cases open against her um with that being said when I went to ChatGPT and like I said ChatGPT is nobody's lawyer and I'm not this is not legal information this is just what I found because I was just curious the case um court orders and like the court orders, like the mandated thing, like give the car and pay and all this type of stuff. When you look at the um, case file, apparently it does not necessarily match what would happen if there was um, trigger warning penetration. If a child had been really, 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 you know, graped in a... Um, ChatGPT said that there would be more serious charges and he's not in jail apparently the, the niece said he's still working he's not in jail he's not been arrested and so i'm just confused at this point the niece is saying and you're gonna watch it but the niece is saying that it was her son who was doing this sick old stuff and to me that alludes to if that's the case that someone else did it to the son because children do do those kinds of things it's not uncommon for a child that's been assaulted to then go and do it to someone else. But the thing is, like, just like we're giving Isis grace, unfortunately, we have to give the niece grace too. And, and, and if niece, if you're watching this, I'm not trying to say unfortunately to you. It's just like this whole situation is so unfortunate. And one thing that someone else brought up um, that I was a little bit like, huh, about too is when Isis was telling these stories of what's going on or her version of what the events, she did not explicitly say what happened to her. So we didn't, I didn't know that she was a DV, that this was a DV victim and that there was multiple cases of DV in the court documents you can clearly see. Um, so I didn't, she didn't, I don't remember in that video ever her saying that this man put his hands on her in that way. I don't remember that. And she didn't explicitly say 
her version of trauma. She exposed her children's trauma, which probably was um, maybe easier for her because it didn't happen to her specifically. I don't know. And I'm not a parent, so I'm not saying it was or it wasn't. But she did not explicitly say what happened to her. She put it in an asterisk. And that is a bit alarming because it is your child that is having this experience and you are okay. And listen, listen, listen. I She has every right to expose him. But if you're gonna expose him, you need to fully expose him. You know, like put his picture out there. Like don't protect an assailant if that is the case. And so also if you are to me, if I was to expose my child's trauma, I would also put it all out on the table. This is what he did to me. This is, you know, and, and and say it because unless you were watching, you would have missed it. And people even in my video and all these other videos missed that, that, that she said that because she didn't actually say it. So there's a lot of strange things with this. Um, and I just, my heart goes out a hundred thousand to the children involved because now, like I was saying in the last video, oh my gosh, I hope they don't remember this because this is traumatic. And I was like, someone needs to be checking in on her children because like even the ones that did not have this specific thing happen to them, they're all being affected. But now at this point, there's no way, unfortunately, that they're not going to remember or know what happened. And then some people are also saying that they have memories from when they were four, like sad memories. They have memories of being younger and like saying that the body remembers and all this type of stuff. So at the end of the day, my heart really goes out to her children because they are the victims. Like there's flat out, they are the victims in this situation, period, regardless of what else occurred. Her children are victims. Now, I don't know what else is happening here. Um, it's a lot of weird stuff coming out. I don't like the way that they're handling this, um, but the niece seemed pretty, you know, certain that her uncle was not guilty at the same time though you are not in the household but apparently because i watched i did some more research apparently these charges are not typical for the allegations that isis set forth if there was certain situations apparently and i'm not a lawyer i don't practice in the law so this is just what i researched apparently if he did do these things, he would be sitting in a jail cell if it was proven in the court of law. That's, but, but we also do know that the system systems sometimes, and there are a lot of people who are out and about walking around. I can, I can name a few who I know for a fact have done sick old things to children and have not served one day in jail. So it's too soon for us period as bystanders and observers to to judge what's going on and to know what's happening because we don't know we weren't there and there's not we don't we're not in the court we don't know what is actively going on I guess we'll find out later down the line once the case is closed or I don't I don't know how these things work um but at the same time, like I said, we don't know one way or the other. We and, and a lot of times what happens is like when stuff like this comes, people project their own traumatic experiences on this. We don't know what happened. And unfortunately, there are mothers and fathers who take advantage of their children. So we can't say, oh, just because this is the mother, she didn't do it. Just because this is the father, she didn't do it. And someone like me, I, I totally gave so much grace to Isis when this first came out. So I have to also give a level of grace to the niece. It's harder though to give it to the second person because we don't know her. She could just be trying to, her uncle could have paid her off. We don't know her. She could be coming forward because this is what she actually knows and to be true. We don't know. But what we do know is that this is just diabolical. Um, I feel horrible for her children because they are victims regardless of who's feuding here and what else is going on her children are in fact victims period now who else is a victim or a perpetrator unfortunately now we have to just open our minds to the possibilities that m there's more devious things going on than we could have originally thought 
So with that being said, you are about to watch the video of Denise saying her testimony, what she thinks. And like I said, I did cut it off because it's, to me, she started getting catty at the end. And so I, I just didn't feel comfortable posting that because of the situation. If you want to watch her whole video, I'm sure you can find it. But I got the, the meat and potatoes for y'all. So let's go in and see what she said. My name is Dee and I am the niece of the trophy wife's husband. Now, I know you know who the trophy wife is because she's been going up and down my timeline for the last couple of days. Her name is Isis or Paloma, which is her real name. Um, this lady is completely insane. Let's just start from there. Um, background story, her and my uncle got together really quick from what I've been seeing and what I've been told. She thought that she was getting a come up with my uncle. Um, but then when things didn't go her way and she pretty much seen that she could no longer hide the things that she was doing behind closed doors she ended up trying to find a different route, which was to come on here and lie to you all and tell you that her daughter had been touched by her dad, which that is not the case. Her daughter had been touched by her son and she didn't want anybody to know because she wanted to try to make it seem like my uncle was the bad guy because she wasn't getting what she wanted in the divorce. I always think that they're the bad guys because it's, it goes both ways. And I am a mother of a black little boy. So for me, I can understand why she would want to cover up for her son. But at the same time, me personally, if my son is doing any like anything like that and I have other kids, I want them to I want to get him the best help possible away from his siblings until he is confirmed better and I know he's no longer a threat to the other kids in the house because you can't just sit over there and single out one kid and be like oh I'm gonna protect this one but whatever happens to the other ones just happens that's not that's not okay and then you want to sit over here and portray to these women out here that Oh, it's okay to be a trophy wife. Just go for that rich man type deal. No, how about go get your own money? How about stop sitting over? Stop. Please, ladies, please stop waiting on a man to fulfill your life financially, spiritually, emotionally, all this other extra stuff and find your own way. Do that. Because when you find your own way and you know your self-worth and you know what, you know, what you are capable of and what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate, then the good man will come find you. But until you know your self-worth, you're just going to keep picking up anything off the street and being like, oh, okay, he got a little bit of money in his pocket, so he's going to treat me right. No. Because what the one thing that you don't realize is that man that has that money He's also got a little brain in his head, too. So he also is already aware of these women that's coming out here to do these things to him or to try to trap him in these ways. Just for money or attention or the clout or whatever. Like, come on, we are in 2024, about to be 2025. Why are we still doing these same little tricks? Somebody needs to be teaching y'all how to make your own money, how to get your own way. So then that way, when you do find that good man with a lot of money, then y'all can build together instead of sitting over there waiting for him to give you an allowance or whatever your little stipend for the month. Be real. Just want to let y'all know for the crusties and the dusties, please be mindful of what you put out here on the internet because you could be getting a lawsuit coming to your doorstep for you putting out accusations of stuff that you have no idea about. Everything that I'm telling you right now on this computer screen or on this platform, I'm letting you know that this is the truth.
this woman is no records that she has been that that little girl has been touched by my uncle. No records. She tried to put it on my uncle that he abused her youngest son, which loves my uncle to death. But the day that her and her ex tried to put out there that my uncle had abused her son, he wasn't in the state. He wasn't nowhere near. So once they went to the hospital and they took the little boy to the hospital, the one thing that they didn't do this time is the social workers pulled him aside and started asking him questions and asked him, who hurt you? Come to find out, the little boy told and said that it was her. Not only that, her oldest son has sent my uncle threatening messages. He has rubbed poop on the walls at multiple family members' house, including theirs. He has pushed his younger brother down the stairs to the point where he had a concussion and she didn't want to take him to the hospital because she didn't want them to know that she had, you know, a son that had been abusing all her other kids. And then not only that, he hasn't just touched the two girls. He's touched all three of the, the kids. He's touched his little brother. He's touched his four year old sister and he's touched his two year old sister. But all of this will come out eventually. My uncle cannot say anything right now because the case is still open. But my thing is, you're sitting over here saying that he did all of this stuff. But if he did, the police themselves said that he would be in jail. They would have took him to jail as soon as the hospital said, oh my gosh, the baby's been touched. He would have been in booking right away. He wouldn't be out right now working. He wouldn't be out right now being bothered with all of this extra stuff that you're putting on him because of the fact that you want money. Like what, what mother uses this platform to sit up there and say, my babies have been raped or my babies have been touched, excuse me, and then sit over there and then try to put a GoFundMe page up. Do you know why she's putting that GoFundMe page up? Because my uncle has had enough. He's not giving you any money. He's not sitting over there uh, playing into your little schemes where she sits over there and tries to have her kid's father call his phone to get to get him to talk to the kids so that she can say he's in breach of a restraining order. Like, there's so much proof behind all of this stuff that you all do not realize that is going to come down on her head. But yet you all are sitting over here believing her sob story, not doing your research and paying her money. This girl has up to $2,000 already on GoFundMe. Probably more now because I haven't even checked this morning. But it's crazy how y'all will go for a black man or go for any man off of what a woman says. Like women don't lie every day to get ahead. I am a strong advocate for black women, for women in general, for people in general. But men... I feel like we need to we need to we need to just slow down a little bit and for you smart ladies out there who sat up there and thought to yourselves, oh, you know, this cannot be true. This can't be, you know, something that a woman would allow, which is not. It's not something that a woman would allow. I am a victim of sexual assault or rape or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I don't appreciate one bit of the accusations being put out there, especially not just because they're fake, not just because that they're out there just for clout, but because of the fact that this involves a family member of mine who I care about dearly met multiple family members, if you want to put that out there, because 
the kids are my family too. But the boys are somebody else's. The girls and the last baby are a part of my family. And if they're being harmed in any kind of way, I definitely would want to stand up for them. For sure. Um, but, uh, her son is the one that the baby first initially said that was touching her. My grandmother was changing the baby one day and she seen that it was red down there and she said that her brother did it. Now, when they went to court, the court did not believe what she was saying because Paloma had already put, or Isis, had already put out a case against my uncle because my uncle was furious when he found out that her oldest son was touching the do the girls. So he went out and tried to, you know, seek help to figure out what he should do about getting her son away from the girls so that they would no longer have to go through this. But as soon as he did that, Isis went and took papers out on him claiming that he did it because she didn't want her son to go down for it. On top of all of this, she's sitting over here acting like she's the best parent in the world when if y'all go look for yourself, y'all will see that she has a child abuse case of her own. Um, her youngest son was but it is a record that she had a diaper rash. It is a record that she has child abuse charges against her. It is record that her son has sent my uncle threatening uh, messages. It is a record that she's not telling the whole truth on this platform, what she said in the courtroom. The courtroom that she had my nieces sitting in looking at the wall the whole entire time so that they wouldn't get emotional looking at my uncle. Because they love their daddy. And now he has to suffer without seeing his kids because of the fact that this woman wants to lie and slander his name because she did not get what she wanted in the divorce. The divorce that she did not put out there, by the way. Because me personally, if anybody had did anything to my kid, oh, baby, I'm going down there first thing and divorcing this person. I'm not about to sit over there and wait. If anybody rapes me or takes my goods without me and my knowledge or without me saying yes, oh, baby, I'm not about to stay married to somebody like that. That's crazy. But for you to sit over there and say that, He's done all these terrible things to you, and yet it took him to divorce you and not you to divorce him? Open your eyes, ladies. Stop being stupid. Because this girl is full of lies. Full of lies. Everything y'all heard. First off, let me ask you. Let, let, let me get this. Look, who wipes their eyes all the way up here like this when you're crying? Huh? Who does that? Nobody. If I'm wiping my face, I'm wiping all down here because I'm, I'm a sloppy crier. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all are too. I don't know why y'all sitting over there trying to act like them housewives doing all that little. No, no. Let them tears drop if you're real. Because if I'm talking about my baby and something like that happened, oh, I don't care if it's ugly cry or not. I'm going to be, I'm going to have snot and everything coming down my face. But this girl could barely even look at the camera the entire time she was talking on this video. I have no reason to lie to y'all. But I want to let y'all know that the disrespect for my uncle, it has.